brought together five sailors from the USS Nevada. It was 100 years ago this year that the ship was commissioned on March 11, 1916, and this is the centennial. And these men served aboard the Nevada, starting at one man, starting at Pearl Harbor, and they fought at D-Day, Normandy, France. They shot Cherbourg, Toulon, Marseille in southern France. She then went to Iwo Jima and Okinawa. She was hit by a kamikaze at Okinawa and lost several sailors. But the war came to an end and she survived it. Probably the most legendary battleship of the 20th century. The displays today are fantastic. They're from the ship and very little remains from the ship. But we have the magnesium box, which was specially made in 1944 to hold silver dollars that were donated by the people of Nevada to honor the crew and they put 2,360 silver dollars in the magnesium chest and sent it to the ship in Norfolk. They called the crew together and they gave every sailor aboard one silver dollar and told them how proud the people of Nevada were. Most of them still have their silver dollar and today we're going to see one of them donate the silver dollar back to the state of Nevada. We'd like to present the state of Nevada with my dad's silver dollar that he re received from the state and we wanted to come back home. <laughs> There's a flag that flew aboard the Nevada at Pearl Harbor that will be here on display today. We have the Halsey saddle here, which was made by Nevada saddle makers for, General, or for Admiral Halsey to ride the Emperor's horse once the invasion of Japan had been completed. We also have several other exhibits from the ship including the ship's wheel and the ship's bell. We've also invited a number of the Naval JROTC students so that they can come and meet the previous generation of battleship sailors and the battleship sailors can meet the next generation of the U.S. Navy. We're going to have our USS Nevada exhibit up um, through Memorial Day, so several more months yet, and we're going to be growing it over the next few months, adding more artifacts to it as we go along. World War II veterans honored today for their service to our nation. Several events were held across town, and we were able to meet up with some of the veterans at the South Point Cinemark Theaters, where a 35-minute documentary on the USS Nevada premiered. We talked with one man who served on the ship bearing our state's name. He said he joined the Navy when he was 17, right out of high school. And I thought that, that would be, I'd, I'd like to, I just wanted to do that, to go in the Navy and do that. My mother signed, uh, had to sign for me to go, and God rest her soul, she, uh, with tears in her eyes, she did. Mm -hmm. and tactics for the USS Nevada had a long history, serving at Pearl Harbor, during D-Day at Normandy, and gained legendary status when it refused to sink after being targeted by two atomic test bombs at the Bikini Islands.